small publishers part of the indie dev nintendo's indie world showcase today or yesterday when, i didn't even yeah. fucking see it damn it yeah i mean it was all right um i, I really like that there's a new cat game coming out uh that, oh? that's cool yeah, cat yeah for, for switch yeah that cat game looked cool I, i'll watch it i this. was i was hating because i don't know like well you guys know this but i love well love strays i wanted to play a game where i'm a cat and i do cat yeah stray was godlike yeah, yeah stray yeah, was yeah. fire it's stray so think think of that game but like just more cat shit apparently they're <laughs> making more, another one so stray won uh, indie game of the year right that year did it did, did it? it yeah i think so i think so i think so I, I, yeah, that I, I, wasn't, I, wasn't that shit. Wasn't that shit stacked too? That, that wasn't was straight stacked. up that there. Was with also like, stacked uh, with uh, neon white. Yeah, that's yeah, yeah, yep. yeah. That shit was crazy. That yeah, was a crazy um, year. Yeah, there was a cat game. I think the ones notable note there was kind of like a Hades type Ninja Turtles game. That kind of. Oh yeah, I saw. I, I saw that on Twitter. Um, yeah, yeah. But I was kind of like, I was kind of like, well, first of all, I was like, Ninja Turtles, an indie developer, what? <laughs> and then other. Um, and other than that, it was just like it just gave me that Hades clone feel. Um, yeah. That's multiplayer that you play with your friend. And it's a road game, so like you either love those games or you don't, right? And you know, um, it's a shame that but, we're gonna start calling roguelikes Hades clones now. That's wild. Yeah, I one mean, best best but, independent game, Stray. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, and Neon White yeah, yeah, yeah. was also a nominee. That was crazy. Sifu was on there too. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Was oh, yeah, that was, yeah, that shit was, was crazy. so good. Dude. That was the year where Yo. all the fucking lower priced games were just phenomenal. Yep. Oh, by, had, like, by the way, uh, real quick, Sifu uh, sold 5 million copies recently. That's crazy for that game. Yeah, give those motherfuckers a tip, not fucking Blizzard. Bro, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. I could buy, use another Kung Fu game, games. bro. Make Kung Fu games. Man, make Kung Fu games. Make, make. Make, make kung fu games where you can mod in the matrix and then batman and all kinds of shit that was thank you for reminding me i'm gonna go i'm gonna go download jet lee rise to honor rise to honor. make uh yeah make 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 more of those games make more make more unique games right like cat games or unique games indie games that's the thing i like about indie games. you know i used to i used to be one of those uh mainstream gamers back in the day where i didn't care about it. i was like every time i would hear indie i would just be like like I would like suck my teeth and just be yeah, like, crazy. Yeah, but that was back. That was way like that was. A you long also time didn't ago. own an Xbox 360. Yep, so yep, you exactly. Weren't, like, Xbox Live they Arcade they was not the thing you. for me. Yeah. yeah, yeah, they didn't get me yeah. yet. Um, I'll tell you what did get me into the indie scene. It wasn't that much longer after that. Um, Pixel Junk, mm -hmm, Pixel Junk mm -hmm. Monsters, Pixel Junk. Uh, what was it? Oh, God, there's so many Pixel Junk games uh, that got me into like indie games. Uh, those games and the p and the ps live the, P the psn games that they drop for like 15 dollars five dollars every now and then i would pick we up have? a bunch of games that's when i started Bro, getting we had we games. had aegis wing we had motherfucking we had explosion man and miss explosion man yeah that shit was fire we had like bro those weren't even because back then it's, it's weird they didn't even call them indie games it wasn't no, that wasn't like the label games. yeah there wasn't like a label yet i guess yeah, like costume quest. It, 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 there was a lot of shit mm -hmm. that was uh that was cool on the Xbox Live Arcade. That was a smart way of kind of getting people into like smaller shit that was dope. Yeah. There was a lot of like Earthworm Gym games. Those shits were fire. We had that uh we had like a we had a little battlefield game too. I forgot which what the fuck was it? Uh it was Battlefield 19 something. I don't know what the fuck it was. Or 18 something. I don't remember. You probably know. I don't know. 1942? Was that it? I think so. Battlefield 1943. That's what it was. That's what it was. The Xbox Live. I think it was on Xbox Live Arcade. I think it was on PS3 too, though. Anyway, regardless, the point is, a lot of those games, man, especially now, Yeah. I feel like those are the fucking triple A shits. <laughs> I feel like I'm looking for Obviously, without the budget. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, like, damn. So, um... Yeah, so they talked about so the cat game I was talking about was called Little Kitty Big City. Yeah, I see. So it. uh yeah, yeah, that's cool. And then the, another cool game was like Atari's making a game with way forward that's called mm. Yars Rising, and it's just like a side scroller cyberpunky type game. But the mm -hmm. art style is pretty cool, like interesting. Like I could see people being into it. Um it, it definitely that one kind of caught my attention. Um but there was some other ones that I, I just couldn't understand. There was like something was like the personality test game. Mm. And I'm just like, 
Oh, you that can sounds just like do a fun a bunch... stream game. But like, like yeah, because I couldn't see like I, I guess I just had a one player mind on it. I was like, yeah, but what do you what do you do? Like, well, what's the point of? <laughs> I couldn't understand it. I couldn't. Um, so it wouldn't be for me personally, but like for people who like doing shit for the reason of doing shit, uh, there's that game. Uh, Sticky Business is another game, but it just looks like you just make a bunch of art for, um, customers and stuff. And, uh, I mean, that's like a cool RT kid game. Um, and then there was a game that kind of looked like when I saw it, I was just like, this game looks exactly like Pizza Tower. It must be made by the same guys. Uh, uh, so it's another kind of like, I think it's called, was it Anton Blast or something like that? Anton um, Blast. Yeah. So, but it has that same kind of style as like Pizza Tower. So, that, I mean, that could be interesting. And then obviously the Ninja Turtles game. And then there was a game that kind of played like Zelda. I think, what is it called? Valley Peaks. The uh, it, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, wait, was oh, it? I gotta piece? play like Zelda. Hold on a second. No, 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 no. Wait, wait, wait. No, no, wrong title. Wait, is it? Is this? It's it? Valley oh, Peaks, yes. Valley okay, Peaks looks yeah. like a. F yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it? I'm not sure. I'm not 100% sure on that. Hold on. Oh, no, 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 no. It's Europa. Europa oh. is the Zelda looking one. My bad. That, that It's kind of like a 3D action platformer, but like it's very Zelda. Like when I saw that game, I was like. Oh, it's very subtle. Like but the before. fact that it's kind of like switch only, my my mind goes, man, that frame rate. <laughs> it's that cool. Sh it oh does look God. cool, art style wise. It looks cool. Uh, but that's all I was thinking about that. And obviously, Team and talked about it. And then it was like a Cat Quest Three, um, which I didn't have too much to say about it. Uh, it's like a casual RPG. You do your cat. You do turn based mm -hmm. shit. Um, but yeah, but, but all these games are have like a lot of different flavors to them. So I'm sure if one of these games will catch your interest, but it wasn't anything super mind blowing. It was like, Oh, we got to talk about this. Uh, it's cool but, that they did know, that. They're still doing it though. Cause we know the switch is almost on its way out. So it's, it's cool. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, definitely. yeah, definitely. I also think it's cool that they do this because there's so much potential shovelware on the switch. Where you go yeah. into that like eShop and there's so many of those games where the, the tech was uh, dropping the price to like a dollar so that it shows up mm -hmm. at the top of the sales in the eShop. And it's just like literally like you have like games like that King Kong game oh that was God. also trashed. The Walking Dead game that were like Excellent. selling a ton plus the day what was it not the day before that, that the, 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 the one that was ripping off of The Last of Us. <laughs> Oh my have, God, I don't remember, but sheesh. Yeah, you have all oh, those games, ah! the shovelware of those games that just end up people end up buying them because they end up at the top of like the eShop. So when they do something like this that's actually being like promoted by Nintendo Direct, it gives people gamers kind of like something to look out to so they don't get fooled by that if they if they're if they're not in the yeah. game, you know. Fucking gaming motherfuckers out here. Bro, there's so many scams on the eShop, it's outrageous. That's 